Hello, I'm Kevin Hershberger here to talk about the new F2 series lineup from Caterpillar. Our new backhoe loaders are coming out this spring. We've got two machines here, a 420 F2 IT machine and a 420 F2 single tilt. Now the F2 machine is built up on a tremendous uh, success we've had with our F series machines, so we carry over all the features and performance that uh, our customers have become familiar with on those machines. And even though these machines don't look a lot different, we've got a lot of new features and uh, new things to bring to the customers that I think are gonna be a great success out there. I wanna talk a little bit about those today. We'll have some other videos that go into more detail about some of the specific features. So this one right now, we're just doing a quick overview of the machines. I'm gonna focus mostly on the 420 and 430 F2 machines, and then we'll do separate videos on the 15 and 16. I will remind you that our 450 continues at a, as an F-Series machine and it doesn't move to the F2 at this time. Now some of the biggest changes that are coming on the F2 machines, in addition to meeting the Tier 4 final regulations and requirements, uh, we've got some nice improvements with an all-new cab. We're going to get into some of the details there. We've got new Eco Mode, which is going to be a great fuel saving feature for our customers that's going to pay off directly in their pocketbook. And then we've got some other things in terms of uh, versatility that will help out if you're operating additional work tools and attachments. So we're gonna get into those details as well. If you look at the machine overall, the styling hasn't changed all that much. You will see more of uh, the new CAD industrial styling on these machines where we have a little bit more of a chiseled appearance. Uh, so you see that in the fenders and the hood line of the machine. New cab gives you great visibility and we're going to get in and take a look at that on the machine itself as we climb into the cab. One thing you will notice over here on the left side, some nice improvements in terms of access into the operator station with new uh, lower step here that makes it easy to uh, climb onto the machine. And then you see a nice big platform here, great for the uh, single point serviceability all here that continues to carry us over from our F-Series machines. So if we get ready to climb in the machine, the hood release is now located right there inside the cab. You can grab it from ground level or when you climb up on the machine to do your daily service checks. You'll notice here the grab rails extend down lower. So even if you've got the machine up in the air and need to climb out, you can do that and have uh, great access to the grab rails as you're climbing in and out of the machine. So here on the service platform, we continue to have all your daily fluid checks right here at one point, right on the top of the fuel tank and the diesel exhaust fluid tank. So all daily service points, again, only one location you need to do to check those, and then you're ready to close that door and climb in the operator station. So let's step in here and take a look at some of the highlights of the F2 operator station. Quite a number of uh, positive improvements inside the operator station building on the success of the uh, F-Series machine. And so uh, as we look around, some of those are pretty subtle. You may not notice them. Others will be great uh, even as you're operating the machine. You'll see how they uh, provide benefit to you. One thing you may or may not notice is we've gone with flat glass all the way around the machine and we may remain with curved glass on the front windshield. Over on the left-hand side, the storage console here has changed slightly and you'll notice we have seals in there now so even on an open canopy machine you can store material in there and be assured it's going to stay dry for you. When you rotate to the front side of the machine we've moved to a parallelogram linkage for the front windshield wiper and that simply means you're going to have more wiped area, more clear area, better visibility especially on those uh, rainy days. Up at the top side we've got a new uh, pull down windscreen and that's going to, especially if you're doing truck loading on sunny days, going to really help you out in terms of the glare that's coming into you as, a, as an operator. We've also improved the uh, roof line up top and so 
If you remember on the F-Series machine, we increased the lift height with the new loader arm design. Now you've got great visibility up to that bucket even when you're loading tall trucks and have the uh, loader arms up in the full raised position. We maintain the same great tilt steering wheel feature that we had before, but now we've also added a telescope function so you can put that steering wheel exactly where you want it. When we move over to the right side, one thing we've really received positive feedback about on all our machines is the improvements we made with the loader control. Now here we're looking at a single tilt and this is set up to operate a four and one front bucket as well. And the nice thing here is instead of having two levers to operate that multi-purpose bucket, now your clam control is right here on the loader lever. In addition to that, we've taken the differential lock pedal that used to be on the ground, on the floor of the machine, now moved it here also on the loader control. And then finally the transmission neutralizer remains here on the loader control and if you have the auto shift transmission like this one is equipped, that also provides your transmission kick down. The front console looks pretty much the same. Now one thing that has changed is our brake mode selector switch has changed position, but we still have uh, the great features up there uh, with the brake mode selector switch that op lets you operate the machine in two-wheel drive and still uh, deliver four-wheel braking performance for a great safety and shorter stopping distances. We'll go over here and take a look on the right-hand side. Uh, one thing you'll see is improved is the ergonomics here on the parking brake. And then when we get over to the gauge cluster, you'll see a bigger, bigger gauge cluster, bigger display, which lets you read out and monitor more system performance. But also one of the new features here with the F2 machines, and this is on the 420s, all the 420s and 430s, is the ability to select the uh, flow setting for your auxiliary hydraulic functions. So you can set those functions, you have three different settings, you can uh, adjust those wherever you want them, and then you can, it has a memory for three different settings for each of the auxiliary functions. So you can adjust your e-stick implement speed, as well as uh, any other auxiliary functions you use on the, uh, either of the joysticks. And that's all done here through these two switches here on the right hand side of the gauge cluster. One other uh, switch that's a new added function here is the eco switch. Now over the years a lot of people have sold eco modes on their machine. Some of those did nothing but change the engine speed. But our eco mode impacts both engine speed and hydraulic performance. And so with our variable displacement pump, what we do is maintain high flow while reducing your engine speed. And so what it does is deliver great fuel efficiency without a drop in production. So for most people, you'll be able to save a lot of fuel, still get the same amount of work done while you're operating in eco mode. And that's a pretty nice feature that we've delivered here with the F2 series machines. Uh, the throttle remains up here where it was before. All your um, functions for monitoring the uh, diagnostics or service adjustments are here available through these two switches. Another change that's happened here is the pattern changer switch, which used to be on the machine left-hand side, has now moved to the side console. So if you want to change between the excavator and backhoe pattern on your rear hydraulic controls, you can easily do that here with that switch. Another nice feature that you may not notice till you're actually doing some truck loading work is the variable speed steering system. That's new on the uh, F2 machines, comes on the 420 and 430. The way it works is the faster you turn the steering wheel, the fewer turns it takes to go from full stop left to full stop right. So if you're turning that steering wheel slow, it's about four and a half turns. If you're turning it fast, it's gonna take about two and a half turns. So nice improvement when you're working uh, aggressive truck loading cycles. Over here on the right hand side, a couple things look different. And you notice here, there's a machine security system keypad. That's an option on the machine, but it lets the owner of the machine store several different security codes in there for his operators. The knob down here on the uh, right hand post lets you select your uh, flow for the uh, cab air filter. In the straight up position, you're recirculating cab air. So if you were in dusty environments, that's where you'd want to be. And then you rotate it down to the right, and then you're bringing in recirculation fresh air. So nice little addition to the cab air system. 
This machine is also equipped with the optional heated seat and the switch is located right here on the seat back. Great for cold weather days. As we rotate around, you'll see all kinds of leg room and foot room. Continue some of that great feature that we had on the machines. And then we get back here to one of our uh, newest big features. So another thing we're receiving a lot of positive feedback out on our field follow machines is related to the rear control system. And so we've redone the pods on the rear of the machine. Got a foot pedal release. Now you've got complete adjustment fore aft. You can adjust these and position the pods exactly where you want them. In addition to that, you've got inboard to outboard adjustment. So every operator can custom fit those things exactly where he wants them. And now you've got, again, the great pilot controls, the controllability that we've become uh, well known for on our F-Series machines continues here with the hydraulic system on the F-2. When you're looking out the rear of the machine, we continue with our two-piece glass system. One nice improvement is the seam line here for the two pieces has been moved down lower and so that gives you better visibility and that line is less noticeable in your uh, line of sight into the trench. So great visibility on the rear glass and some real nice improvements on the efforts here to the system while maintaining the great durability of our hinge system that we've had on the F-Series machines. Those are some of the highlights of these machines, so whether you're the operator and you're going to enjoy some of the great ergonomics and improvements here, or the owner who's going to see some of the benefits of the fuel savings with the eco mode, there's really some nice things here in the new operator station that continue to build on the success of our F-Series backhoes. So with the F2 machines, we continue to offer the IT front loader system. Of course, that's great for versatility and increased performance compared to the single tilt machine. The beauty of it is it comes standard with the third function hydraulic valve, and so any hydraulic work tool that you want to operate on the front side is there and available to you, and it gives you a parallel lift. New improvements with the F2 machine then on the IT function are here with the loader control. And so we brought the differential lock up from the floor, just like we did on the single tilt machine. We've got the third function hydraulics here on a roller lever. Up on the front side of the lever of the uh, IT control is our transmission control, the neutralizer, and if it's an auto shift machine, that's also your kick down. And a great new thing that we're hearing a lot of positive feedback, it's actually an idea that we brought over from our wheel loaders, and that's to integrate the forward and neutral reverse switch right here on the loader control. So an operator's doing truck loading work with the IT machine, he's got one hand on the wheel, one hand on the loader control and he can operate all the functions he needs when he's doing that truck loader work. Very well received. I think it's a big selling feature for our F2 machines with the IT option. On the back of the machines there's a few things I'd like to show you. Up here we've changed the uh, hydraulic quick disconnects. So now you have connect under pressure capability. You certainly don't need to spend the time you did in the past trying to drain pressure out of your work tool or out of your hydraulic lines. Simple screw on, don't, in most cases you won't even need a tool, you can simply screw on by hand the quick disconnects for any work tools, hydraulic attachments on the rear of the machine and we also have the same fittings on the uh, front of the IT machine for hooking up hydraulic tools like multi-purpose front buckets. If you looked up a little higher maybe you notice we cleaned up the hydraulic lines routing. So again, better life, better durability with some new routing that we did here with the hydraulic lines. And then when you come down lower, you'll notice that both of these machines are equipped with the new CAT dual lock hydraulic coupler. So the same advantages you had with our previous mechanical coupler, now available from the factory with a hydraulic version of that, so you can change work tools without getting out of the operator station. Transmission-wise, we continue to offer the standard shift transmission as well as the auto shift transmission. One upgrade that comes with the auto shift transmission is that's now a six-speed. And we haven't added a top gear, but we've added another gear in between second and third, so you're gonna have great hill climbing performance and capability there. The other thing that we have available now as, as an option is a lock-up torque converter. 
So if you're doing a lot of roading, you're going to see faster roading speeds, maintaining better speeds, and you're going to see some fuel savings uh, with that lockup converter if you choose to order that option. When we get on the right-hand side of the machine, just a couple minor changes. We've changed the angle of the, of the exhaust stack to match better with the uh, right-hand A post and ROPS post and maintain a great visibility down to the bucket corners. And then when we look over here on the uh, right-hand side, there's a new emissions uh, after-treatment system in here because now our system uses urea or diesel exhaust fluid. That diesel exhaust fluid tank is located on the machine left-hand side, uh, right near the fuel tank. It's got the blue cap on it, and uh, we expect to be filling that about every third or fourth fuel fill. So the rest of the active part of the emission system is over here inside this, store, inside this box. But we also do provide uh, storage space here in the box for things like extra pins or chains or things like that that you want to store out here. Uh, outside the operator station. Now if we go a little further rearward on the machine, we continue with the uh, feature we had on the uh, F-Series machines, the easy access into both the, our windshield washer unit and our cab air filter here in the fender. So you don't have all that dust inside the operator station. The fender itself, the shape has changed some. We've also extended the coverage back here on the rear tire, and if you're working in mud, you're gonna see some vast improvement in the ability to keep the rear glass and side glass clean because of the better coverage here with the uh, new fender design. So that's a quick look at some of the highlights of uh, new features on our F2 machines, specifically features that are delivered on our 420 and 430 single tilt and IT. Overall, we continue the great success we've had with the F-Series machines, the great hydraulic system, versatility and performance of those machines with the e-stick and an emission system that's trouble-free and uh, designed for the life of the machine. Some nice improvements with fuel savings and fuel efficiency and the new operator station on this and meeting those Tier 4 final requirements. I encourage you to contact your local CAT dealer to get more details on these machines and perhaps run one for yourself. Thank you.